So you should watch the plus minus syndrome video to see what the syndrome is, which is a dorsal midbrain syndrome causing a plus, which is lid retraction, and a minus, which is ptosis. And so today we're going to be talking about the pseudo plus minus sign, which is not from the plus minus syndrome. So a pseudo means either the plus is pseudo or the minus is pseudo. So if you have a pseudo plus, that means the lid retraction is not real. That's a pseudo lid retraction. If you have a pseudo minus, that means the ptosis is the one that is pseudo. And pseudo means false, of course. And so why would this happen? So if you have a ptosis of one side, the lid is down, and you have a lid retraction on the other side, the lid is up, that's what we mean by the plus minus. So this is a plus, the lid retraction, and this is the minus, the ptosis. And the question is, are both of these true, true ptosis plus true retraction, or is one a pseudo? And if one is a pseudo, which one is the pseudo? So if you have a ptosis from myasthenia gravis, for example, on this side, by Herring's law, there's gonna be equal innervation to the contralateral lid. And because the single central caudate, caudal nucleus of the third nerve is supplying both lids, both lids will receive the same amount of innervational effort. So you're trying to raise the totic lid, but that same innervation is going over here to raise the other lid. And so if you have a pseudo retraction, a pseudo plus, we can make that go away by lifting up this eyelid. So if we lift up the totic lid, this will alleviate the Herring's law innervation to the other eye and the lid will go back down to a normal position. And so that will prove that the pseudo side is the plus side, the retracted side. And you can sometimes have a pseudotosis, and that pseudotosis doesn't have to be from contralateral lid retraction. It can just be from hypertropia or hypotropia. So if the eye is down and you try and raise the eye, it'll cause the levator to fire. So the levator and the superior rectus are hooked together. And so it might look like you have a ptosis, but really it's a hypotropia. So if we alleviate that stimulus to drive the eye up, we can alleviate the lid firing, and that's also a pseudo. So we can have pseudo plus, which is pseudo lid retraction, and pseudo minus, which is pseudotosis. We can test that by testing Herring's law by lifting up the totic lid or pushing down the retracted lid. If, however, we lift up the totic lid and it stays retracted, that is a true lid retraction and a true ptosis. And the most common cause of that is myasthenia gravis and thyroid eye disease. However, and you need to watch the other video for this, sometimes it's lid retraction, true lid retraction, and true ptosis because you have the plus minus sign from the plus minus syndrome. And that's because your lesion is in the dorsal midbrain. It is affecting the supranuclear input to the levator, causing lid retraction. But because the fascicle of three on one side is out, it also causes a true ptosis. So you get a contralateral lid retraction from supranuclear disinhibition of the inhibition of the central caudal nucleus to the levator. So that is going to cause lid retraction. That's a true plus and a true ptosis from a fascicular third. That true plus minus sign can be from the true plus minus syndrome in the dorsal midbrain. So you need to know the difference between the plus minus sign, which is what we see, the plus minus syndrome, which is in the dorsal midbrain, and the pseudo plus or the pseudo minus sign.